Hello everybody, Kazim here. In this video, I'm going to be comparing CAPEX and OPEX. Let's check it out. You know, as IT folks, we're used to using technical terminologies a lot, but sometimes it helps to understand uh, some business terminologies that we're going to use when we're conversing with our C-level superiors at the office. People such as the CIOs, the CTOs, the CFOs, and so on. Among these terms are OPEX and CAPEX. CAPEX stands for Capital Expenditure and OPEX stands for Operating Expenditure. Starting off with CAPEX, when we try to relate this to IT, for example, this would be money that we spend on setting up our infrastructure. That is money that we spend on buying servers, procuring licenses, and so on. So if you look at the cost of setting up an infrastructure, you're going to find out that it's going to cost you a lot at the beginning, at least, you know, to put that infrastructure in place. So after that initial upfront investment, the maintenance cost then will reduce with time. However, one of the problems with this model is that if I spend a lot of money upfront buying high-end servers, procuring licenses, if later down the road I no longer have a need for those servers anymore or to use that license or to use those licenses anymore, I'm stuck. I can't do anything about it, right? In addition to that, you also have to worry about cooling your infrastructure, making provision for power and the maintenance of your infrastructure in general. Because if you have an infrastructure, it's yours, right? So you are responsible for maintaining it. Next, let's take a look at OPEX. OPEX would be the money that we spend in running the day-to-day -day operation of a business. I mean, things like wages, paying rent, and so on. If we try to relate this to IT, or more specifically now, the Azure cloud, this would be the money that we spend buying Azure services. A good example of this would be when you pay for a virtual machine on Azure or you're trying to spin up a web app or a mobile app on Azure or any other service for that matter on Azure, those will be considered OPEX or be referred to as OPEX. So with OPEX, you wouldn't have to worry so much about that huge initial upfront investment. You're only going to be paying for what you use and you can spend the rest of your capital on activities that can help the business make more money. And at a later time, if you find the need for more resources, you can simply scale up. Yes, you're going to pay more and it's justifiable, right? Because you're paying more because of your increased usage. You're using more services, so it's expected that you're going to pay more. So this is also known as the consumption-based model. So one other cool thing to note about the consumption-based model or OPEX in general is that you don't have to worry about maintenance. Maintenance is the responsibility of the cloud provider. So in this example, Microsoft is going to be responsible for maintaining the Azure cloud. In wrapping up, when you look at it, OPEX tends to favor businesses more, especially small businesses, because you wouldn't have to worry so much about that initial uh, upfront investment that is associated with having an on-prem infrastructure. You only get to pay for the period that you're consuming that service up on the Azure cloud. Whereas with CapEx, you'll be investing some capital upfront, like investing in infrastructure, buying servers, procuring licenses, and so on. All right, if you like this video, you can check up here for similar content just like this one. Share, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.